Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and yes, we have a Goose Creek video. So as you guys know, I do indeed work for Goose Creek as a graphic designer, so I'm indeed paid for my work as a graphic designer at Goose Creek. These candles are sent to me free of charge uh, for me to talk about here. I'm not paid to make this video or to say anything. Specifically, the opinions are my own, uh, but I still enjoy sharing these with you guys because, hello, I designed the candles, so I want to talk about them. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So yes, uh, super jazzed. We have three collections that were designed by yours truly. Uh, I have two of the collections in my possession and then a third one dropped just today That's like a springtime southern porch collection. That's super cute, too uh, That I'll just briefly talk about at the end, but I don't have it in my possessions since they just dropped today uh, But we do have this juicy uh, Let's see where where's where's the juicy one? Uh, tropical collection. Oh my god. Look at that. So we have all of that plus we have this super cute bakery uh, collection here as well. And how fun is that? And look at that rainbow gradient on there. Oh my god. Just, yeah. So, uh, let me get right into it. So we have the tropical collection. I think the, like, leading new fragrance in that collection that we have is Honolulu ice cream. And oh my gosh, look at that. So what I love about these labels are that they have almost like a frosted matte finish to the gradient behind. So there's like a frosted feel to it. And there's a little bit of a transparency there that when you burn the candle, like the gradient should glow through with the flames. But then on top of that, you have like this glossy pop of the artwork and the pattern on top of the sort of like matte finish. So I love the contrast of the glossiness and the matte feel, but then also the fact that this sort of like gradient should glow as you burn the candle uh, down. Oh, I love it. And like, I love how like in this instance, the gradient is like the blue sky and then like the sandy beach here to evoke that sort of like Honolulu beach experience. And then also get ready for it. We have notes on the bottom of the candle. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, finally. I'm so jazzed for that. So when I first started working for Goose Creek, you guys know one of the very first things that I said was like, can we please get notes on the bottom of the candle? So I just took the liberty of making the warning label uh, and mocking it up and be like, here's a warning label if you want to use it to print on the bottom of your candles. Uh, and so fast forward to now in February of 2024 and we have that. And it's just so satisfying because I like, I laid out this warning label and to now finally see it in print with all the candle names and notes on it is just one of the most satisfying things that I've done. Uh, so I enjoy that. So we finally have the notes on the bottom of the, uh, candle and I just like I pick the typeface and the font and everything myself and it just like soothes my soul with how like legible and just clean it is oh my god I just, I just love it uh so yeah I'm, I'm going to toot my own horn a lot in this video because I'm just really proud of how these labels turned out so <laughs> we have Honolulu ice cream right here uh, so this one's graham cracker, vanilla ice cream, juicy pineapple, and sugar. Uh, and this one has white wax with the like thick rope-like wicks on it. And that's what that looks like. And, mm, okay, this one's good. It's your like, kind of like your dual whip type of creamy pineapple vanilla ice cream fragrance that you would kind of expect from a pineapple ice cream fragrance. Yeah, you get heaps of like a juicy pineapple. Maybe even a little bit of like a peach in there as well. Uh, and then you get a, just a hint of this sort of like brown sugar crumbly action. It's not overly uh, like crunchy or waffle coney, but there's just enough of a little bit of like a warmth in there. Think of like a like a toasted, uh, like, like a toasted pineapple or like a marshmallow sweetness in there as well. Yeah, um, it smells like you would imagine a pineapple ice cream to smell like just with just a hint of a sort of bakery essence underneath it. Uh, Honolulu ice cream right there. I just love the way the packaging turned out on this one. I think it's my favorite of the whole collection. Uh, moving on, we have Volcanic Sunrise, and that's what that looks like. And look at how juicy and bursting those citruses are with the, with the orange blossoms on there as well. Uh, this one is going to be orange, grapefruit, strawberry, and lime. This is like your very, like, almost like Pez citrusy, zesty citrus fragrance that evokes a, I guess, a volcanic citrus. So if you like your, like, sort of volcano type of fragrances, uh, this would be that. Or if you like a citrus that's washed out in the sun, this would be similar to that as well. Uh, or like a paradise type of citrus fragrance, this is going to be that. Uh, your quintessential, very like zesty citrus, almost like a Pez type quality to it is what you get. But yeah, uh, it's nothing groundbreaking for me and I don't normally gravitate towards this type of fragrance, but it's here if you want it. Volcanic Sunrise right there. 
We have Lush Getaway, and oh my god, look at that juicy, like, purple and pink hue on there. So the thing with this one was, uh, it says Lush Getaway, which you would think, okay, it's gonna be some, like, sort of, like, vegetal, plant, like, palmy type of fragrance, but when you read the notes on it, it actually is a strawberry, sugar, pink, raspberry, colorful clouds, cashmere, and soft citrus fragrance, so I'm like, wait. So, like, the naming gives a Lush Getaway feel, and I still need the packaging to be that way, but I also need to bridge the fact that this is more of a strawberry, raspberry, sweet cotton candy fragrance, so I was like, okay, let me merge the two and do a foliage mixed with like a purple uh, pink hue to it. And so that's what we have here with the Lush Getaway. So yeah, this one's gonna be way more emphasis on that strawberry sweet action. It's almost like a very overripe strawberry, almost to the point that you can smell like the bruises on the strawberry. Uh, and it has this like gushy quality to it. It's a very overripe strawberry for sure. And then it's just mixed with like this sort of like powder puff sweet, slightly body care type of like cotton candy quality down in there. I wouldn't really peg this as a normal, like a tropical fragrance, but here it is. So let's get away right there. If you want like a strawberry cotton candy sweetness, that's what that is. Moving on, we have Cliffside Sea Spray. Oh my God, I love this one. Just like the blue hue with the cute little tortoise on there and the starfish and the shells and then the coral on there. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely snatched. Um, if you have like a, like a, almost like a, what's like a beachy, beachside like Airbnb or hotel room or whatever, I guess an Airbnb that you had to furnish, like how cute would this be like on there with like some kind of like juicy beachy like candle pedestal, love it. Uh, salt water, ocean air, blooms, soft fur, lemon and white woods. So this is gonna be like your sort of like aquatic, watery, slightly sweet cologne type fragrance in there. There's a little bit like a masculine cologne quality that you get from sort of the citrus, uh, but it's not overly uh, like heavy cologne, but just a hint mixed with a very like, like a sea air, uh, like ozone aquatic marine quality to it. It very much evokes Clipside Sea Spray and just what this like packaging and theming kind of uh, serves. So I love that. Clipside Sea Spray right there. We then have, oh my God, Tiki Party. How cute is this with those like, the Tiki birds perched on the, perched on the foliage. <gasps> oh my God, I love that. How cute is that? There he is again too. And then the beautiful yellow to like red gradient. We have mango, lychee, coconut, and beechwood. Okay, this one's very much like your sort of like nostalgic tropical summer fruity fragrance, but without it being overly artificial or synthetic or hairspray or like plasticky or grody, you get a mango that's sweet, but then you get a little bit of that sort of exotic lychee that gives it that sort of like grapey sweetness that gives you the extra more juiciness to it. Um, yeah, it's like a very sweet, juicy uh, fruit fragrance, but it's balanced just enough with the sort of coconut and beechwood in the background. So that was Tiki Party right there. Very apt uh, smell for this uh, name. We then have coconut beechwood, and that's what that looks like. So we have the, of course, the coconut which, with the palm fronds in the background as well. Uh, this one's gonna be coconut shells, teakwood, creamy sandalwood, and vanilla. And ooh, okay. This one is like, if you like your sort of like masculine and mahogany woods and your teak woods and your drift woods and you know, that type of like mahogany masculine fragrance mixed with a very creamy coconut, this is what coconut beechwood is gonna give you. I do have to say there's an extra emphasis on like a sweet vanilla that I enjoy that gives it a little bit more of a creamy sweetness to it. But if you like a, a masculine, like, you know, like a beechwood, driftwood, teakwood fragrance mixed with coconut, then coconut beechwood is gonna be the one that you have here. So that's that right there. Uh, let's see, moving on, we have papaya leaf and bamboo. That's what that looks like. And so we have the juicy, of course, the papaya leaves and sort of like bamboo shoots in the background as well as the papaya. Uh, we have bamboo woods, juicy papaya, sweet mango, and rainwater. And ooh, I like this one. This one is a very nice balance between sort of the grassy bamboo sort of like planty feel that I, I, you would expect from a fragrance that's called this with just enough of a sort of sweet papaya and mango fragrance to it. That's nice. It's like not overly like candy, artificial sweet on that mango papaya front. There's enough of a greenness in here that I like the, the blend of it. So yeah, this one's kind of nice. Papaya leaf and bamboo right there. Moving on. Oh my God, gag me out with this floral print. Hibiscus fruit punch. Oh God, look at that. I love that. Uh, this one's gonna be midnight hibiscus, raspberry, strawberries, and sugary fruit punch. I think I've had this one before. Um, and yeah. 
It's like a fruity floral body care fragrance is what I get from it. Hibiscus normally in the real world doesn't have much fragrance to it. So it's usually like a fantasy floral is what hibiscus usually gives you. And so that sort of like nondescript fantasy floral is what I get from the hibiscus in here with like a sweet berry blend. But overall, it's very like, it's not quite exactly what a fruit punch in like a drink gourmand way would be. It, it gives me more of a floral body care vibe in there. Uh, so that's Hibiscus Fruit Punch right there, but very much like a pink fragrance that matches this uh, mood. Moving on, we have Banana Cabana Beach, and I think I have like a pair of swim trunks that look just like this. Oh my God, I love it. Um, let's see, Banana, Tangerine, Coconut, and Sea Breeze. And whoo, boy. This is definitely like your balls to the walls banana fragrance. If you like your like tropical banana or like banana cabana type of fragrances, this is gonna be it. You get a heavy emphasis on that sort of the runt artificial sweet banana fragrance um, that which we kind of look for in a banana fragrance to be honest, with just a hint of this extra almost like bronze quality that gives it a little bit of that sort of like, uh, like coconut sunscreen body care type of vibe is just like, chilling in the background that gives it a little bit of that sort of like suntan oil bronze quality to it that just evokes the whole like banana cabana beach experience. I like this. It's like very much like what you would expect from like a tropical like a vacation banana fragrance. Uh, and so we have that right there. Moving on, I believe this one's new and it's Jasmine Cabana. And oh, look at those beautiful blooming jasmine with the palm leaves in there. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have Cabana Woods, Coconut, Jasmine Blossoms, Lily, and Citrus. And ooh, this is not my favorite. Um, a little bummed. I was really looking forward to this one because I love a good white floral, like a tropical white floral. And I was looking for something a little bit more realistically white floral in this. But this one's more of that sort of hairspray synthetic body care fragrance that I really don't enjoy. Yeah. Um, you get that like sort of grody coconut in here mixed with that sort of fake body care jasmine. Yeah, I really can't like sell this to you in any way because I don't really enjoy the fragrance. Yeah, I was just really expecting more of that true white intoxicating floral um, mixed with a little bit of like green quality to it. But yeah, this is more like a synthetic hairspray um, tropical body care fragrance to it that I don't really love. So that's Jasmine Cabana right there. Uh, and lastly, we have Emerald Palm. And ooh, look at those beautiful palm leaves on there with that deep emerald green color. Love it. Uh, palm leaf, woods, jasmine, pineapple, apple, and melon. So we have a whole lot of like botanical green action mixed with a whole bunch of fruit. Mm, and unfortunately, this is pretty much most of the emphasis on the fruit. Yeah, I don't know. Emerald Palm, I was expecting something a lot more like green and botanical, uh, more, I guess, leafy, or maybe even a little bit more floral. But this is heavy emphasis on like the sweet pineapple, apple, melon fruit notes with like this, so that, that like peppery woodsy, like body care fragrance that we keep getting in a lot of these candles from all the brands, the like peppery woodsy body care underneath it. Yeah, this is totally not what I expected. Yeah, it's like sweet, synthetic fruity mixed with like a peppery woodsy uh, body care undertone to it. N not what I was hoping for Emerald Palm to be completely honest. So that was that right there. So not a huge fan of Emerald Palm or Jasmine Cabana, but I, uh, if I had to pick favorites, um, I think I enjoyed the balance of the fruity with the green on this one. That one did a much better job of the balance than Emerald Palm or Jasmine Cabana did. Uh, the Honolulu ice cream is fun just because it's like a juicy pineapple ice cream with a little bit of like that sort of uh, cone aspect to it. So I enjoyed that one. And the Banana Cabana Beach is fun in a very much like tropical quintessential banana fragrance that you would expect for like a getaway paradise uh, collection like this. So those were my favorites. And then of course the Emerald Palm and Jasmine Cabana were my least favorite. But oh my God, how friggin' juicy are these labels and just the whole collection. So of course the idea behind this collection is like, it, you know, it's super cold out because it's winter and it's snowing and snowstorms and what have you. And you just want to like a tropical escape. Uh, so it's definitely like an escapist collection. And oh my God, look at how, oh, I just love it. I mean, if I didn't design these myself, I would like want to collect these just for the packaging, just the cohesiveness and the color run with the beautiful bright colors and the gradients. And then like the sort of matte frosted finish with the glossy, uh, uh, juicy pops of artwork. Oh my god, I'm just like so beyond uh, happy with how these turned out. And when you see like the lifestyle photos of this collection, like all of them lined together with the juicy like uh, beach umbrella, ah, uh, just gag me out. Love it. So that was the sort of like 
Paradise Tropical collection that we have there. We then have a bakery collection, like a bakery, uh, like a sweets and bakery shop type of collection is what we have here. And most of these are returning favorites uh, with, I believe, one new one. Uh, and so we have blueberry cheesecake right here. That's what that looks like. So of course we have like a, kind of like a ribbon effect. We have like a custom little emblem with the icon right there that sort of like, you know, ties in with the item that it is. We have a juicy pop of that, like, you know, photo of the actual item. We have fun little polka dots. And then just to jazz it up a little bit, we have some gold foil going around there as well. Uh, wild blueberries, fruit filling, pie crust, and cream cheese. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, this is very much very juicy, bursting blueberry. I like this though. Yeah, very creamy, juicy blueberry. I wish there was more crust in this. I don't quite get a whole lot of crust or brown sugar in here. It's more of an emphasis on that really sweet, juicy, like more of like the filling of a blueberry cheesecake or just like the top of the blueberry cheesecake with the blueberries and the cream on top. Yeah, I mean, it very much nails the top of it. Hopefully the crust will come out a little bit more when it goes to burn, but yeah, nice, I like it. Uh, blueberry cheesecake right there. We then have vanilla birthday cake, and that's what that looks like. Oh my god, I love this one because it has that beautiful, like, almost like the inside of, like, a rainbow ice cream cake. Oh, look at that beautiful gradient on there. And then with the confetti cake on the front there, just snatched. Uh, we have fluffy vanilla cake, marshmallow cream, vanilla sugar, and creamed filling. I think this one's been out before, and it's not my favorite. There's something a little bit, like, sort of plasticky and artificial about it, but it, sure enough, it smells like, I guess, like, a, what a, a vanilla birthday cake would smell like. I think this shows up in like the Little Debbie's collection with the Christmas tree cakes and this, that, and the other. Uh, so I think this one's like some, kind of rent bin around the block. But if you want a very like sweet, almost borderline artificial birthday cake fragrance, then check out this one. It kind of like matches the crazy craziness of how like bright and uh, like, I don't know, fun this is. Yeah, so that's vanilla birthday cake right there. We then have warm donut sugar, and that's what that looks like. Look at that juicy uh, donut right there. Uh, we have cinnamon sugar, warm fried dough, soft spices, and vanilla bean. So this is gonna be similar to like sort of like your brown sugar churros type of like fried donut fragrance for sure. I think this one has heaps of an emphasis on like a cinnamon sugar sweetness in there that I get even more so from other these type of fragrances. Yeah, there's a sweetness from the cinnamon sugar in there for sure. Um, yeah, it kind of smells like you know one of these donut sugar type of fragrances so it's, it smells nice and good and it's quite realistic so i enjoy that then we have butter cookie and this juicy green that's what that looks like right there this one's going to be warm butter cookie vanilla butter and sugar it smells like a butter cookie yeah uh, nothing super groundbreaking you get the butteriness in there makes like a crunchy cookie uh with like sugar yeah, it's not much to say about it, to be completely honest, but it smells like a butter cookie. So that's what that looks like right there. Moving on. Oh my God, this one's my favorite. You guys know I love all the PB&J peanut butter jelly fragrances. So I really wanted to see what this one would smell like. And I love like that purple color mixed in there as well. Love it. Peanut butter, toasted bread, raspberry jelly, and strawberry jelly. Ooh, I like this. Oh my god, yeah. So first off, we don't get any like weird wayward uh, cologne notes in here that you might not expect coming out from left field. Nothing at all like that. Uh, you get definitely like a nuttiness up top that evokes peanut butter with something that is a little bit more like bready and it's like not overly like sweet or toasted, but it has like a, like a slice of white bread is kind of what you get from it mixed with a nice jammy quality uh yeah, it's like a pretty linear peanut butter and jelly fragrance. Like when I think of a peanut butter and jelly fragrance, this is kind of what I would imagine. Uh, and it doesn't have any weird, like once again, cologne notes or anything like that. So I appreciate that. Ooh, I like this. Okay, I'll have to burn this one and see how it does. I just freaking love all the PB&J fragrances. So that was that right there. Uh, moving on, we have strawberry sponge cake. This one I think is like in their core line a lot. So we've smelled this one before. Uh, strawberry cake, cream cheese, icing, lemon, vanilla, and buttercream. And yeah, this one's nice. You still get that sort of like artificial strawberry fragrance that you get from like a strawberry cake like this. But this one has a little bit more heaps and emphasis on almost like a, uh, like a heavy cream, like a cool cream or like a heavy cream, like sort of running through it. Almost like think of like a Tres Leches type of moment in how like creamy and like milky it is. There's a milky, creamy component in here mixed with a strawberry. And I actually really enjoyed this fragrance. So it's a nice execution of one of these strawberry cake fragrances with a little bit more emphasis on that sort of milky, creamy, like that, like the cream that you see right there. So that was strawberry sponge cake right there. 
Uh, and lastly, uh, this one I believe is new, is Caramel Drizzled Blondie. And look at the caramel drizzle on that blondie. Like, ah, uh, it just makes me so hungry. Uh, warm blondie, caramel sugar, maple, and buttery vanilla. Very much emphasis on the maple for sure. You get maple? It's ma basically maple vanilla fragrance is what I get from this. I wouldn't mind a little bit more bakery crumbly action, but I'm not really getting that. Yeah, I get the caramel, maple, and vanilla. Very sweet. So if you want a maple vanilla fragrance, then caramel drizzled blondie is right there. I believe there's the last one that's marshmallow sugar, but unfortunately I was sent the one that was the photo label instead of the very juicy uh, bake shop label. Uh, but in case we want to talk about the fragrance, uh, this one's going to be marshmallows, batter, and vanilla. Very much like a very straightforward marshmallow vanilla fragrance. It's not quite as like artificial, almost like plasticky as vanilla birthday cake is. It's a little bit more creamy and smooth. Um, and a little bit more emphasis on just like a plain creamy vanilla. It, it smells nice. It smells like a marshmallow sugar fragrance. But yeah, uh, this does exist in the bake shop label as well. So that's that right there. Uh, and lastly, for candles that I have in my possession, uh, we have Boardwalk Cone. So I think, th I believe this one's new. And I was like, ooh, I really want to smell that one. So that's what that looks like right there. Uh, and this one says blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, waffle cone, caramel, and vanilla. And ooh, I like that. Yeah. If you like a berries inside of a waffle cone type of fragrance, this is certainly going to be it. You get that sort of golden brown sugar, crumbly batter waffle cone aspect in there mixed with a nice juicy berry blend has that warm toasty feel to it excellent love it yeah yeah if you want berries or berry ice cream inside of a waffle cone then check out boardwalk cone so that's that right there and then lastly i feel like i've been completely talking my head off uh but there is a juicy springtime southern porch collection uh that dropped today that i also designed as well and i love it so of course the idea for this collection was supposed to be kind of like a nostalgic like sitting on your grandma's porch uh and you know she brings you out freshly brewed uh iced tea or uh freshly squeezed lemonade so we have things like old time lemonade and ice sweet tea in there and then we have like you know sort of like southern foliage that you might get from the willow tree or the blooming magnolia um and also she might bake some like juicy treats for you such as homemade cherry pie or buttered blueberry scone and i love the way these turned out too uh and there's a uh, I think there's a lifestyle photo of that one too. And there's like a white picket fence with like trees behind it. So snatched. Love the way that turned out. So uh, check out that the collection. I also designed that one as well. So that is it. I feel like I've rambled my head off, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I just, I just freaking love designing candles. Uh, and it's so much fun to be able to do so. See them executed. Also see them in photos and in videos. And then be able to share that with you guys here on this channel. It is just truly so fulfilling and I just love it. So hope you enjoyed these videos too. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.